bacteria population has initial count 60,000. Two hours later, the count's at 100,000. How long will it take for the count to get to 200,000? This problem is in exponential growth, so I'm gonna write my formula down. So I'll write it as A at time T, that's the amount, is equal to A0 times our factor 10 raised to the constant R times T. Now, you may see this okay, instead of base 10 with base 2 or with base E where E is roughly 2.7. So since here we focused a lot on log base 10, we'll keep this in base 10 also. Now, at time t equals 0, we have 60,000. So that means A of 0 is going to be equal to A0 times 10 to the 0. 10 to the 0 is 1. So A0 is equal to 60,000. So that's just my initial amount. Now, we go to time t equal to 2 hours. We're going to have 100,000. So we put that up against the formula. Formula says 60,000 times 10 raised to our rate r times two hours. So we'll have a two r. Okay, we isolate our 10 to the two r, so divide both sides by 60,000, gives me 10 over six, and then I have this. Now I wanna isolate two r, so I'm gonna apply log base 10 to both sides. When I do that, okay, we'll have log 10 to the two r. I can bring the two r down front and then log of 10, okay, remember log is to the base 10, so that's gonna be equal to one, and so I get two r. So two r is equal to log of 10 over six. Okay, dividing by two just gives me r, and we'll just stick to that right there. Now, the question asks, okay, how about 200,000? So I'll set that equal to my equation. So what do we have now? 200,000 equals 60,000, 10, okay, my expression for R, and then we have T, and I want to solve for T. That'll be the time where I have 200,000. Okay, again, we isolate, I put the 60,000 on the other side, that'll give me 20 over six, then I'll have my 10 raised to R factor for R times T, and then I want to apply log to both sides and go through our same trick. So what will that do? We'll have a log 20 over six, the log and the 10 are gonna cancel and I'll just be left with what's up and top. And now I can just isolate the T. When I do that, push these numbers into my calculator, I'm gonna get 4.7 hours. So 4.7 hours, we'll have 200,000 in our population. Here's a different way to finish. So when I'm at the step, 200 equals 60, 10 to the log, 10 over 6, t over 2. What I want to do instead is pull the t over 2 to the outside and leave 10 log 10 over 6 in parentheses. Now, if I have 10 raised to the log, okay, and that's base 10, the 10 and the log base 10 are going to cancel and just leave the exponent. So this is going to collapse to 10 over 6 to the t over 2. This looks a little bit nicer when we take logarithms. So here, we won't have a big mess up in the exponent. Here it's just going to be a t over 2. So when I take log, I'll have log of both sides, our t over 2 comes to the outside, and then I'm going to wind up getting what we had before. So when you clean up, you're just going to get our number from before, the 4.7. Now, let's check our answer by thinking of our formula as an initial amount times a multiplication factor. So the idea is going to be this. Okay, A0 is our initial amount, and then I have 10 to the RT. Well, what's happening? If one hour passes, I'm just going to multiply by 10 to the R. If another hour passes, I take that 10 to the R, hit it with another 10 to the R. So if you notice, for our answer of 4.7 hours, what are we going to do? I'm going to multiply by 10 to the R four times, and then for the last time, I'll multiply by 10 to the R raised to the 0.7 power. So let's take a look at this. So my 10 to the R is going to be equal to, okay, we solve for R, it's log 10 over 6 divided by 2. 
we can separate out the one half to the outside and on the inside I'll have 10 raised to the log 10 over six. 10 and log base 10 cancel out, leaving me with a 10 over six. So our 10 over R is just 10 over six to the one half. Now, that's gonna be what we multiply by when one hour passes. So we have 4.7 hours passing. So I'll multiply by this one, two, three, four times. And then for my last 0.7 hours, we're just gonna multiply by that thing raised to the 0.7. Now, if you simplify that, you're gonna get 10 over six to the 2.35. To get from 60,000 to our 200,000, we're just gonna multiply by this factor here. So I take this factor, crunch it down the calculator, multiply by 60,000. We're expecting to get 200,000, or at least something in the ballpark. When I crunch it, I get 199, 295. So we're off by about 700.